Hello, I'm Robin Wilder and I'm just trying to get my bake up done in I don't know. Your bake up? My bake up. <laughs> Hello, I'm Robin Wilder and I'm just trying to get my makeup done in the morning. My challenges to this are I have a preschooler and a toddler so I can't linger in front of the mirror for any time because they might actually be killing each other. I'm incredibly cat-handed to the point where it is a superpower now. Also, I'm a brown person. I'm on the beige end of the brown spectrum. I'm kind of olive toned with a bit of baby diarrhea. So sometimes it can be a bit limiting when I'm choosing a foundation color or something. And finally, I am 43, which is really great. And also it means my skin's like a little bit less elastic and forgiving than it used to be. Despite all these caveats, I still want to look nice when I go out, even if I've, especially if I've had only three hours sleep. Um, and I don't want to get stuck in a rut either and you know, wearing the same old makeup year in, year out. So welcome to my Grown Ups Guide to Makeup, where I attempt a bunch of classic and new looks uh, while trying to keep my kids out of my makeup box. How will it pan out? Let's find out. So this week, I'd like to take you through my guide to doing a bold lip, or as I like to call it, faking adulthood. For many people, a bold lip, which is basically just wearing bright lipstick, is, is part of an everyday look. But for me, it's signposting to say, uh, this is deliberate. It kind of pulls together your outfit, even if it, like me, is uh, stained jogging trousers. So when I wear bright lipstick, I always start with a uh, either no makeup or a very minimal makeup. Currently I'm just wearing tinted moisturiser and um, mascara because I have very strong features. I don't know if you can see them. Big nose, big mouth, big eyes, heavy brows. So if I, if I put too much makeup on everything, it just looks a bit cabaret. I really hate lip liners. Um, they're not quick. You have to match them to your lipstick and putting one on my lips always feels like I'm trying to puncture a balloon. Instead of lip liner, you can use highlighter around your lips and that will stop the lipstick from bleeding out, which is what I do. This is a highlighter. It's uh, by Trish McAvoy. Um, so what I do is I dot some on my cupid's bow just around my lips. Then I close it and just blend my finger. It doesn't matter if you get some on your lips because you can just put the lipstick on on top. And then I use a tinted uh, lip balm. This one is one of my favorites, Chanel. And this, is, this color is called Deep. It looks quite dark. It doesn't go on that dark. I use this to add pigment before I uh, put the lipstick on. So there, just colorful and then blot using a tissue. This one is from the toilet. It's really good to use lip balm before you put lipstick on uh, because otherwise your lips might be dry. Another thing is people always say, beauty editors always say, use a lip scrub. Who has time to use a lip scrub? What I do, uh, which may be slightly gross, is I uh, take my electric toothbrush after I've um, brushed my teeth and just whiz it around my lips. Um, that's quite gross, but nobody else uses the toothbrush and I rinse it afterwards. So we've put the highlighter on, we've uh, put the lip balm on and we've blotted. Now it's time for the lipstick. This one is by MAC and it's called Lady Danger. What I find is that if you get too dark a red, a sort of on the plum side of bright red, it, it, it doesn't go well with an olive toned skin. So this is a slightly orangey red, which I quite enjoy. And then you just stick it on using the, the stick. Just slap it on like you're a child learning how to paint, which is how I do everything. And then blot on the handy toilet paper. Do another coat. One tip someone told me, uh, because I'm so cat candid, um, is to not hold the lipstick too high. If you hold it quite far down the barrel, you can control better where it goes, which is excellent when you're left-handed and cat candid like me. And just to add a bit of uh, specialness um, and to not make it look so dry, what I do is I stick a bit of uh, lip gloss on. So it's a similar color. This one is by Ink 
Redable, who with the Nails Ink brand. You don't use a lot. Just a little bit of gloss in the middle of the lips. So there's a little bit of a shine to it. And finally, just to make sure that you don't have like a, f a mouthful of lipsticky teeth, you stick your finger in your mouth, pull it out. So all the extra, um, don't look at my nails, all the <laughs> extra lipstick that would have gone on your teeth comes out on your finger. And so that's your bold lip. Now all you need to do if you're gonna pick up your sonnet nursery like I am is pop a coat on, put your sunglasses on, tease your hair, and just look really moody. Uh, and no one will know that you're a complete hot mess underneath all of that, because your lip is so bright and bold. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this, or you wanna tell me how I got it wrong, don't forget to follow the pool for more of the Grown Ups Guide. If you need to personally insult me, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Orbyn, O-R-B-Y-N. Bye-bye. Did I really want to shake up my hair? You did, and I quite love it. <laughs> What an asshole! How Just dare you! Well, I'm a brand! Anyway. One trick I learned when I was, um... No. Come on. <laughs> I was like, when I was a numb. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Socially Awkward. Thank you for watching.